so we stopped in the Clayton Hotel last night as our plane flies at half, well, it departs at half eight, so obviously we wouldn't have been able to stop at home because we wouldn't have been able to get the train up in time. So yeah, we stopped at the Clayton Hotel last night. It's a nice hotel for the price as well. Um, we've got two double, de the double beds and I had quite a good sleep actually. I slept quite well. Um, so yeah, we're off to Reykjavik in a bit. Ooh. Um, excited so yeah just getting ready and we'll be off um so far the testing for this is as i'm aware for iceland is an antigen test so we actually did have one at the airport last night with collinson just in case for anyone who is planning on going to Reykjavik in the next couple of months so yeah <laughs> landed we've got just got to the hotel and i'm going to quickly just show you the hotel while i'm just gone outside to take some pictures of the views because um obviously i just wanted to put a bit of makeup on because i felt a little bit like drained and so we are at the Avaral hall hotel i think that's how it's pronounced it's a bit of a mess that's why i kind of wanted to do one now before it gets even messier um so you just get like a standard double bed a tele um mini fridge I also picked up from um, the duty free, the birthday cake babies, um, because I know it's really hard to get. <laughs> um, there is some really good views with these hotels, but we haven't got the best views. Um, but we have got that building in the corner. I'm not too sure what it's called, but that's just there. And then I'll take you back, telly there. And then we just have the bathroom, which has a bath and yeah and just some products that we'd like to see in there so yeah and then tonight we are off to um the northern lights tour because apparently tonight is a good night to see them so we're gonna go there and we're gonna have a quick look in the center in a bit and we might go to the Venus museum so yeah <laughs> That's, that's it, that's the Rainbow Street, Liam. That's the, one. <laughs> that's the Rainbow Street I was telling you about.
in the blue lagoon. Thank you. So we've just got to the blue lagoon and because we've got the premium package we got the flip flops and the rub as well. Just having food at the Blue Lagoon. We'll get the free champagnes included in it as well. because I had the starter because I wasn't keen on the mains. Liam's got the lamb. That's lamb, isn't it? Hey guys, so the last clip you would have saw was when we was at the Blue Lagoon and I had a really good time there. My skin is feeling so smooth. Um, I know this, I think it's silica and that that's in the water and it's just amazing um, what it does for your skin. So yeah, we've just been chilling back at the hotel and we're off to Hard Rock Cafe in a bit because we've got a reservation at half seven. And yeah, we do. Um, I've been to a couple of Hard Rocks before. That's why we thought we'd go to another one because the cocktails tend to always be quite good there. So yeah. And then we're gonna come back and try and have an early night tonight because obviously we couldn't because of the Northern Lights last night. So um, then we're gonna have a, a little bit of an early night because we have the Golden Circle Tour tomorrow morning. Um, so yes, I've got quite a busy night um, morning ahead. So yeah, um, I will insert some clips of the um, Northern Lights because we actually did get to see a little bit of it. We were really hesitant because the lady said sometimes you can see the lights and sometimes it's a hit or miss. So I will ins insert some clips here for you. But yeah. It's still going and this lava is quite young and that means that if you uh, drill down like one kilometer or up to two kilometers down that brings the hot water into Reykjavik and uh, the water is uh, quite hot and it only cools down by like two degrees on the Celsius case on its way into Reykjavik. Not like, I don't know if it's because um, we've all like wrapped up the way.
just got back from the Golden Circle tour that we went on today. Um, so we're just chilling in the room for a bit because we are actually off to the ice bar in a bit as well. So I really, we really enjoyed the Golden Circle tour that we went on. We also went and saw the tomato farm that they've got here. Well, it's like a tomato um, greenhouse where they basically um, have most of their tomatoes are from that they have here because obviously they don't have a lot of like trees and plants and stuff because obviously of where it is. And they said it was something to do with the lava here. Um, the lava had actually, the ash from it had gone on a lot of the the trees and the plants here, hence why they haven't got that many plants. So yeah, so we went and saw that as well and had a tomato beer there. Um, and then obviously we, we went to the Gazer place and then we went to the Four Foss waterfall, which was, it was so windy there. I actually ended up falling over onto my back. So yeah that's that's a story for a different time but yeah it was really windy so yeah i'm just gonna get ready now and then we're gonna go to the ice bar but yeah it's been a really good day a little bit tired as you can see from the hair that's this is from the wind it's been so windy today and it has just started to rain but all in all it's been a really good day and highly recommend it if you're thinking of going to iceland and doing this tour i definitely recommend doing the golden circle tour because we, we just had fun and the wind is an experience, let's put it that way. Oh, you try. Okay. Age of film. very authentic to be in Iceland but um we decided to go to like a pizza restaurant and then just picked up some, some bits because I'm absolutely shattered so hopefully I have an early night tonight because tomorrow we're going snorkeling in the Silfra Silfra snorkeling I think that's what it's called and just to warn you which probably most of you will know but Iceland is really expensive this together would cost about eight pounds just for the free things that was like two pound so yeah, just pre-warning if you do ever want to come. <laughs> so we just got back from the dry suit snorkeling and I will insert some photos because I didn't vlog any of that. Um, and now we're going to the fly, fly over Iceland, which is I think apparently like soaring, that's in Florida. So we've just been to the flyover, which is it is definitely like soaring in America. That's how far go from it. And then we've just come to Nikuk, and I've had the chicken burger, which is you well, and the ends of the dirty Harry. Okay. There's a quirky place. You've got Mario on in the background. The chicken burger. So we just got ice cream. Only weirdos can say that they get ice cream in Iceland. Like oh us. So we're just getting some gifts before we go back home. I'm not crying, it's from the wind. It's just going to be so beautiful at night. I'm going to have a Christmas tree. It's our last day and we're going home tomorrow. I'm not crying again. It's the wind, it's so windy. 
So we have an early morning. So we're just stopping and having a beer, a Viking before we pack and do our stuff for tomorrow. So there's a bar slash restaurant on top of our hotel, like a that little balcony. So I just brought a show the view on top. Because we stopped at Centre Averall. And in the day you'd be usually be able to see like loads of scenery here, but obviously because it's dark you can't see anything at the moment. to Bansi and we'll be with you soon. There's my suitcase. Okay? It's coming back to me. <laughs> yeah, you look after that suitcase. Okay? <laughs> <I'm stumped. laughs> 